John, I want to start with you to kind of set the scene here. TPG today is announcing the official launch of TPG Next, uh, which refers to TPG Next Generation uh, of Capital Allocators. What is this initiative about? Explain it to us. And how is it different from, say, an impact fund? Well, TPG Next is um, the, it's, it's really our newly branded effort to um, uh, back uh, diverse managers. Um, what, we, what we've decided to do at the firm is really try to, uh, go, to the, go right to the issue of trying to put diverse people into the seat of being capital allocators. And um, as, as we all know, I think you know, one of the, one of the uh, challenges that we face is getting diverse entrepreneurs, capital, flowing capital, um, to uh, growing companies that are, that are founded and, and led by uh, diverse people. Uh, until we solve the problem of putting uh, diverse people into the seat of being capital allocators, um, running, running funds, um, and, um, and being able to use their networks to flow capital in that direction, um, I don't think we'll solve this problem. I don't think we'll make a lot of progress on it. So um, we've been working on this over the course of the last um, uh, couple of years, really. And um, uh, we've now uh, developed, uh, we've developed a, um, uh, an initiative internally at TPG to really uh, brand this and drive this in a more s systematic institutional way. So the, uh, the objective of TPG Next is, um, is, uh, su is seeding, supporting, um, and scaling the next generation of diverse investors and managers. Um, and we're focused on um, women, people of color, LGBTQ individuals. So that's basically what it is. Okay, and one of your investments is Harlem Capital, a Black-owned VC fund. I spoke with the CEO, Jared Tingle, not so long ago, and he told me that he sees diversity as an asset class, which I thought was a really interesting way of putting it, because his mission is to back female and minority entrepreneurs. TPG Next kind of treats diversity as a horizontal asset class that spans across your different verticals, whether it's real estate or growth equity or PE. Can you explain how investments in TPG Next differ from uh, what you did with, say, Airbnb or Spotify or any of your other investments in the past? Yeah, well, I mean, I, Next is really designed to be sort of the catalyst to get um, diverse uh, people into seats where, um, whether it's private equity, whether it's venture, whether it's real estate, again, as you as you mentioned, horizontal, it's really designed to um, be the, um, the uh, effectively seed and launch uh, managers that will then ultimately go on to be themselves successful, successful investors and successful allocators of capital. And so, you know, as opposed to investing in a single company, a single portfolio company, the idea here is ultimately to create a lot of leverage by using the TPG, uh, in using our ecosystem, using our capabilities. Obviously, we've been around for a while. We 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 um, we have a lot of skills as it relates to investing. Um, we have the ability to help raise capital. Um, for these folks, um, we have the ability to help them see around corners as it relates to deal activity, and so right. I wouldn't say there's one cookie cutter approach here. And you know, Josh, obviously, who's on with us, um, represents the 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 latest initiative or the, our, and our latest investment um, uh, from TBG Next, which is which, and the the idea here on the Landspire Group is we've created our first ever program of investors in residence. So what we're trying to do to, together with Josh and his team, with Josh Justin, and Justin, is to have them join the firm um, for a year as employees partnering with our real estate team. And I wanna thank our real estate team really for their focus and effort and partnership here in launching this new program but it would, but um, these 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 guys are joining as investors in residence, really working with our team, um, sure. sharing deal flow, under, beginning to develop their capabilities in, as investors, and then hopefully de benefiting from the rest of the ecosystem in terms of firm building, culture building, things like that. And the idea is, after a year, they continue to they they, they go on and build their firm. 